Hi this is Matt from Top Windows Tutorials and this is the first of our YouTube exclusive videos and what I wanted to do with this really is just to have some fun and show you some things that you wouldn't normally see on our website and so today what I'm going to show you is something called Microsoft Bob now this was a failed experiment that Microsoft did into user interfaces and the idea behind it was to make your computer much more user friendly, much more beginner friendly um, but actually what it ended up doing for most users was simply patronizing them. Anyway so this is Windows 98 and, and we're going to go to the start menu and we're going to load up Microsoft Bob with a little smiley icon there. Okay so the idea of Bob was to put a interface on top of a lot of common Windows tasks, something that would be friendly and familiar and not to intimidate the new user. So to sign in you click on the door knocker, you get the sound effect as well, and you get to pick your profile. Can I remember my password? Okay, there we go. And here we are in the in the living room for Microsoft Bob. And you might recognise the dog. He looks a little bit like the the Office Assistant that was on uh, recent versions of Microsoft Office, but has disappeared from the newer ones. Um, he sits there and gives you lots of tips, adjusting the sound, turn the sound up or down, or turn it off completely. Well, that's that's very helpful. Thank you to start a program even just click on it well another helpful tint there from the little dog so let's see what we've got around here as you can see the fantastic um, 90s visuals there out of the window uh, we've got a calendar we've got some sort of clock there a few books here and actually these things down here are actually productivity applications we've got a word processor uh, simple financial package and um, even an email client anyway you can also explore around the house as it were by clicking on another room so we'll go to the public family room so Bob had the concept of public and private rooms uh, public rooms were rooms with shared content for your family so you had a shared calendar and private rooms where you could do your own work uh, let's go on explore another room let's go to my mouse hole and here we are in my mouse hole there's various objects that I can interact with see it's a curious sort of cross between almost a game and a, a desktop at the same time. If I go to other options, add something, I can add programs, decorations, let's go on retro, let's add a retro chair. Well, there we go, we've added a chair to the mouse hole. Hours of fun, <laughs> I'm sure you'll agree. Um, so let's check out some programs that Bob has. Let's go back to the study. Oh, I've got to click on the door to do that. Oh, how helpful. So where are we? Not the public study, my contemporary study. Okay. That's a room especially for me. That's great. So let's check out some of the applications and about this here. That's the letter writer. So let's start that up. And along with the tips that really irritate most people and uh, we'll create a new letter and uh, we've got a 
type a new name for it. So, example letter. And then we get to pick from a template. Because if I just wanted to write a document, I'd have to go through all this. Birthday greeting. Uh, what sort? Uh, oh, festive. Uh, what what f what border? And oh, I can even have a picture. Shall we have a little dog then? Uh, complete with the great little cutting out animation. Um, no, I'd, uh, this would let me import an address from my address book. I, I I don't have any addresses in the address book, so anyway. Let's get started. So there we go. And down here again, sort of in very much in keeping with the Bob style, we've got a little pencil where we can add the bold, italic and underline. And all the tasks are very, very much sort of guided through. Um, you'll certainly never feel on your own when using Microsoft Bob. There's, there's always plenty of help, <laughs> at least. Um, though ever so slightly annoying. Let's exit that for now. Um, what else can I show you? There's a simple email client. Of course, I haven't actually got any accounts set up in this. Um, again, the little doggy will walk you through all the steps if you really want to use that. Then there's a checkbook, which is actually a financial program. Woof, here we go, pal. Great. And again, it's all sort of very Fisher Price. And um, we can go through managing credit, managing bonds, buying a car. Let's buy a car. Cars you are considering. Build a new list copy. Oh, dear. Uh, let's just go away, please, doggy. I just want to demonstrate this program. Oh, about buying a car, so we're into more help again. In a way, writing and making tutorials for people all the time, I can kind of understand what Microsoft were trying to do with this program. Uh, let's exit from that. Maybe the whole theming the ha thing as a house and making it like a toy um, Bob actually did appeal quite a lot to children, but if you just want to come in and get a task done, the whole sort of kid-friendly presentation is really likely to tick you off. This was a failed experiment. There was only one version of Bob ever made. Let's have a quick look at the calendar while we're here. And Microsoft gave up on the idea after one version. People really didn't take to it, but it, um, you can only imagine how Windows 7 might have turned out if Bob had been more of a success. Um, certainly a lot of the ideas went into Office, even though they were abandoned as well. Um, certainly not Microsoft's finest hour, but interesting nevertheless to see just how things might have turned out. Um, had the experiment been a success. So that's Microsoft Bob, as I say it's, it would never caught on and lots of you probably never heard of it so finding a copy nowadays would be quite difficult and I'm told it will run on Windows XP but you probably wouldn't want to bother. And that concludes this little tour of, of this um, relic of Microsoft history. <laughs>